Mr. Secretary General, UN staff have repeatedly been told that they are the most important resource of this organization. Since December 2015, the staff here at the Vienna International Center have been exposed to off-the-scale electromagnetic radiation from Wi-Fi and mobile phone boosters installed on very low ceilings throughout the buildings. Current public exposure levels are at least one quintillion, that's 18 zeros, one quintillion times above natural background radiation, according to Professor Ole Johansson of the Karolinska Institute in Sweden. The highly dangerous biological effects of EMFs have been documented by thousands of studies since 1932, indicating that we may be facing a global health catastrophe, orders of magnitude worse than those caused by tobacco and cigarettes. Mr. Secretary General, on the basis of the precautionary principle, I urge you to have these EMF emitting devices removed immediately from these buildings and to call a halt to any rollout of 5G at UN duty stations because 5G is designed to deliver concentrated and focused electromagnetic radiation in excess of 100 times current levels in the same way as do directed energy weapons. In line with the UN guiding principles on business and human rights to protect, respect and remedy, 5G technologies must be subjected to an independent health and safety assessment before they are launched anywhere in the world. There is currently an international appeal signed by 237 EMF scientists from 41 nations urging the UN and particularly the WHO to exert strong leadership in fostering the development of more protective EMF guidelines, encouraging precautionary measures and educating the public about the considerable health risks, particularly the risks to children and fetal, fetal development. Mr. Secretary General, I think we have a unique opportunity here at the UN office at Vienna. Since our medical records are digitized, you have the choice and the possibility of releasing data on a closed population exposed to off-the-scale levels of electromagnetic radiation in a metal-walled building which exacerbates the situation, to establish if there have already been abnormal health consequences for the UN staff here in the last 28 months. I urge you to do so and stop any rollout of 5G immediately. Thank you. Sorry, because uh, we are talking with someone that is a little bit ignorant on these things. You are talking to the Wi-Fi systems? Um, on the ceilings of these buildings, uh, Wi-Fi boosters and cell phone boosters were installed without consultation, without information to staff in December 2015. The situation here is extremely dangerous. I have heard anecdotally of many people who have had health problems. I don't know if they are related, but the precautionary principle would di dictate that we use our medical records to look into this and that we remove these dangerous devices immediately. Thank you. Well, I become worried because I put those devices in my house. <laughs> so. Not a good idea. So, uh, uh, I, this I will have to, I mean, I confess my ignorance on this. Uh, we will have to, uh, I, I, I'm go but I'm going to raise this with WHO, which I think is the organization that might be able to deal with it properly, for them to, um, I mean, put someone, uh, their staff or organizations to work on that, because I must confess, I was not aware of that danger. To the extent that I have put those things in the rooms of my house, in the ceiling.
I would suggest that everybody start looking into this issue and particularly into 5G, which um, 237 scientists from 41 countries consider a threat that is far worse than the tobacco and the cigarette and the asbestos um, threats of the past. Well, maybe I have learned something completely new and uh, I hope it will be very useful to me, but uh, I confess it's the first time I hear about it.